Hi, I'm Libby, and I'm a senior from Fairbury Junior Senior High School. And this is my poem, Write a Letter to Yourself. In high school, I've gotten multiple prompts from different teachers telling me to write a letter to my future self. Mine always went, Dear Libby, I am writing to you as your past self. You are currently 13 years old. Are you still single? If you answer yes to that, we're going to be single forever. Are you still friends with that friend group? Please say yes, because they're the best people you've ever met. Do you still like that one guy whose name is to never be mentioned? Currently, we want to be a pediatrician because we love little kids. Oh my god, did you hear that beep? Did beep? It's just so much drama right now. Oh, also, can we always pretend that we have a YouTube channel when we get ready in the morning? It makes me feel like I'm famous. Sincerely, Libby. I have not gotten that letter back. Oh, but when I do, it's going in the trash. I never really thought about how much it would mean to me when I do read it. But I thought, what if the past me wanted a letter back? Dear Libby, we're 17 and have a job, a car, and our very own bathroom, like in the movies. Yes, we are still single, but we've had a couple of rocky relationships in the past. But we're happy, and it turns out that we find most couple things cringy. Those friends from before turned out to not be the best for us. But through that, we found the most amazing, supportive, and caring people. We stopped talking to mom, and it's helped our mental health so much. Dad has remarried someone new, a woman who has loved, supported, and rescued us every time we needed it. She showed us what a mom is supposed to be like. Now we love ourselves and appreciate every little thing. I don't want to be a pediatrician anymore. We want to go into hospitality, but I think it's for the best considering we do not like kids. <laughs> I've learned how to become a better person to myself and others. I think writing this letter to you is cringy considering that you won't be able to read it but I also think of it as unfinished business. With most love, Libby. P.S. We still pretend like we have a YouTube channel. <laughs>